There are a number of large properties that are in the process of concluding training and putting in place the necessary requirements for their resort or hotel to be certifiably ready to receive international visitors when the Philip Goldson International Airport reopens on August 15th. That's a little over three weeks from now, but is a critical move to ensure health and safety. Travelers now are choosing destinations based on health, safety and cleanliness. For us to ensure that we deliver that and Belize remain on top of list for the destination of choice, we have to ensure that we deliver on those factors. To do so, there are a number of guidelines that tourism stakeholders, including hoteliers and tour guides, are undertaking to ensure the safety of visitors. A gold standard recognition program outlined by the Belize Tourism Board and the Ministry of Tourism and Civil Aviation, in coordination with the Ministry of Health, has a nine-point checklist that must be satisfied for the classification. Some of the nine-point checklists, it includes having social distancing markers, installing sanitization um, stations, um, having a response plan, as I had mentioned before. And, it, and it, most importantly, it involves the training plan that these entities are having. Because, I mean, for example, we can have all the products in the world, we can have all the sanitization train, um, stations, but if our employees are not adequately trained as to why these products are important or as to why these procedures are important, then we are doing it in vain. All those are protocols to be implemented to make the industry as safe as possible. We feel that if stakeholders continue to operate the way they are and attend the training sessions, clarify any points they may have and take the necessary action, we feel that we are in a good position. At the Best Western Plus Belize Biltmore Plaza, a final step, the installation of signage and decals around the property is being completed before its application for certification can be submitted. There are, however, new processes attached from check-in to the dining experience as well as housekeeping services. We have created our own internal response plan in lieu of COVID-19 that addresses all the different procedures and protocols that all our departments must take, from the front desk down to our admin and accounting departments who are at the back end of the hotel industry. At the Biltmore, what we are doing, we are deploying technology or amping up our digital marketing. What it is we're doing now, we are sending them pre-arrival um, signing sheets. So they would fill in all their information and they would send us back that um, electronically. We would input all the information and also we have an online payment method now. For the restaurant per se, we are strictly adhering to the six feet apart social distancing, as well as when it comes to the sanitization. Before we would sanitize or wipe down the tables when I, whenever our guests would leave. But in lieu of the COVID-19 pandemic, here at the Biltmore, we are sanitizing these tables and all the utensils every hour. Our housekeeping department, it has been the most critical when it comes to the training aspect of it, because I mean, the, um, our housekeeping department, they can be the most trained. However, it can be one small area that per se they miss. And let's say that would be an, an error per se. So when it comes to our housekeeping department, again, as I had mentioned, we are using only FDA approved products. And as well as when it comes to the training of our employee staff, we have employed them with proper PPEs when it comes to the mask, the gloves, face shields, and we have an adequate supply. We have recently purchased a fogger, which would be used for to go into the room whenever, let's say, a guest would exit. The fogger would go and um, fog out the entire room, and then the housekeeper would go in and do their um, adequate supply of sanitization also. A number of smaller hotels and bed and breakfasts has not been able to make the requisite investments at this time due to the economic impact of COVID-19. But they are nevertheless working towards providing a safe environment for guests. Meanwhile, others have opted not to open to international tourists. Director of Tourism Karen Bevan says that the Belize Tourism Board, which is leading the introduction of new restaurant and hotel guidelines, is working with all stakeholders. Not everyone will be ready. And if you're not ready, let's wait and let's work together to get you ready. So we respect if you say that you're not ready. We prefer that than for you to be open and operating and, and we create further problems. So not all stakeholders will be ready. We respect them saying that. If they are not ready though, we will work with them to get there. You may have employees who are in a position of maybe, um, maybe high, high, risk. high risk employees, right. 
you may see, let's wait. I don't want to risk my employees. Again, we respect that and we want that because we don't want to risk our employees. We don't want to risk our stakeholders. We don't want to risk the Belizean people. So if that is the situation, let us know and you remain closed until you know you are ready. There might be other properties who want to open, but the training is not yet there. Again, we respect you who say, I'll wait until all the training is in place. It's best for us to do that so that everybody is prepared when the travelers get here, that we deliver on what we are marketing. We want to deliver a safe and healthy environment. Dwayne Moody for News 5.